answer. I was going to say, now moving on. Um, so moving on to uh, some AEW news. Uh, Sammy, I'm calling him Samuel. Samuel Guevara and Eddie Sammy Kingston uh, got into a backstage incident uh, pertaining to a promo that Eddie Kingston had cut in the ring about Sammy. Sammy then had replied to Eddie Kingston uh, with comments about his weight. Um, and Eddie took a swing from there. Eddie Kingston was suspended. He ended up coming out and saying that it was his bad, that it was his wrong. Um, Eddie Kingston ended up being on the card for all out where he will be facing Ishii, uh, during the zero hour. But I kind of wanted to take a little bit of time to kind of examine, um, this incident and wanted to ask who was in the wrong, who was in the wrong during this incident. We all know who's in the fucking wrong, and it was Sammy to begin with, because he could sit there and write in his whole statement that they went over things and he never once mentioned a comment about his weight. But did that really have to be said? Like mm. in the, in this time and in, in, in day, do you really have to sit here and like go over that with someone that you should be commenting on someone's weight? We just yeah. covered it in the show, so I'm not going to sit here and reiterate myself. We just talked about how it affects both the men and the women. Yeah. We have all these pressures to. Um, have a certain physique for the camera and just you could just tell off of the way like Sammy carries himself not just as a character but when you see him in his interviews and shit he carries himself like a fucking dickhead he, he's very <laughs> arrogant he's very full of himself um, he's very much conceited so I don't just imagine that this was just like a matter of that Eddie was triggered just by the promo I feel like there it, it, there's been something brewing yeah you know and on top of that Sammy's already a target yeah. because I mean, we all, we all have not forgot about that incident that happened um, on the, I forgot what the name of the podcast with the ball guy or whatnot that he got on, but he, you know what he said about Sasha, we're not going to say that word on here, but it was a very yeah. inappropriate term that was very insensitive to a lot of victims. Um, it rubbed a lot of people away from both parties, male and females. Um, and Sammy, I feel like got away with it, like, you know, scot-free, you know, yeah. this man got at most just a little suspension and a sensitivity class basically a slap on the wrist yeah you know so you should you should know even better since you took these fucking sensitivity classes and you're gonna come back and you're gonna cut an insensitive promo about this man's weight knowing already a and I, also here's another thing i didn't like i didn't like how he also in his statement wanted to comment on eddie's anger issues mm. like to me i just thought that was just an unnecessary jab yeah that's his business Okay, and if you know that he has alleged anger issues, if that is in fact true, that he does need anger management, why would you comment on the man's weight? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Me personally, I don't like Sammy. I would find any reasons to swing on Sammy. That's why I feel like, <laughs> and that's why I feel like happened with Eddie. We all seen that 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 little video that I shared yeah, last week, on Twitter. where, uh, yeah, uh, he sometimes Eddie does do do shoot promos. Sometimes they're just promos where he's just being a dickhead and he's acting like himself. Me personally, I feel like every time Eddie cuts a promo, um. It's a little, it's a little bit of venting in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know when he got to Sammy's name, yeah. When he knew when the assignment. The, uh, gentleman got to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like when um they got to Sammy's name or whatever, um Eddie got a lot of steam out with him, a lot of steam. Like I, <laughs> it was a little bit of foreshadowment, if you will. It came off as if he was looking for a reason to hit him. Yes. But I do feel like he had every right to hit him because why would you? Like, we literally just went over for, for like, the past six weeks. It was a war on the internet about commenting on Adam Cole's weight because he's too small, he's too skinny, he's or he or he's flabby, he needs to get back into the gym, he needs to get bigger, he needs to get bulkier, he'll look better in ROH, da 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 Why would you take that same thing and use it towards Eddie? Because not for nothing, there's nothing wrong with his weight. He moves just fine in the ring. He's a damn good character. Um, I said this many times before, what I love about Eddie Kingston is that he just, he just feels like a real guy, a real dude. He's very relatable. And that's yeah. like the biggest thing that is important when you're in this business, you know, you yeah. want to be a character and you want to be somebody, have a look that is very relatable. And that's something that Sammy just isn't. Yeah. So I feel like it comes off like jealousy. I feel like that's the only reason why he probably took that jab. Yeah. Because a lot of people hate Sammy because he's not relatable. He's a fucking dick. Like, yeah. In his head, he really thinks that he had he has a, le a legacy going on. Like, I feel like in his head, he thinks he's one of the four pillars to AEW, and like it's really not it. Like he could mm. go missing from television right now, for like, for like six months. He could be gone, 
And I promise you the ratings wouldn't move because not for nothing, we didn't want to see you on TV. If anything, mm. I'm pretty sure that a lot of the TV channels turned off or turned to a different channel when it was him and Tay on TV for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like, right. he's not interesting. He's not engaging. The last time he was engaging was because he was paired with Jericho. And I feel yeah. like that's that's what gets to his fucking head. Right. I think that because he had that one, he, you know, he got gassed up as a quote unquote Spanish god or whatever the fuck Jericho labels him as. I feel like he took that. He ran with it. He also sees that Tony Khan is backing him on what he does because if I was Tony Khan and someone was going to drop that word on a podcast, I don't give a fuck if that happened not on my territory. That's inappropriate. Like it's a PR disaster. Like, like <laughs> it is. I I ha- I have a uh, female talent that I hired. How does that make them feel? Mm. That this man could go around saying that he wants to do that word to another woman um another talent and i have all these other female talent like i it it comes off to me like i mean insensitive to them which i do think tony khan did not handle that in an appropriate way right you know but i think that sammy just feels like he has like this little shield on not this little shield. i feel like he has this big force still shield on him that he just he can never do any wrong and he doesn't have to take any accountability for shit Mm. um so i'm happy that eddie knocked him upside the head i wish he would have knocked him upside the head some more and i'm happy that he's back on the card because to be honest, like I feel like he, didn't he, he is that. a needle mover. He did not he deserve that. He didn't. He's a great that. talent. He comes in here and does his job. He didn't do nothing wrong. You know what I mean? He's right. he's just amazing at what he does. And I'm happy that they put him back on the show because I mean, he already lost MJF. You cannot yeah. lose another mouthpiece you, like like Eddie. Good luck. You, Good luck. Yeah, luck. you can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't. After losing um, after losing MJF, which we'll talk about later, you definitely can't lose uh. Eddie, but I was gonna say literally, like I agree with everything that you say. Um, I all oh, it's giving Karen energy when you're talking about a person of color's anger issues, especially when you did something to intentionally anger them. Like that to me is very like that's a very manipulative thing to do. Like I'm gonna say this thing to get this reaction to be like, see. He has this issue. First of all, we all know what Eddie's about. We all know that Eddie gets riled up. That's part of the reason why we like him as an on-screen character and as a person. Because he gets riled up really quickly. So you didn't need to tell us that. So the fact that you went out of your way to say that, it lets me know that you're trying to intentionally slander him or to get at him or to paint him in a certain light so that the public sees him in a certain way, possibly so that the public can you know i guess can reimagine how they see you but it don't work like that bro like sammy if you corny you're corny and like there's no anger issue or weight issue that you're going to point out that's going to make you uncorny in fact if you point Mm -hmm. out those issues you're just as corny if not cornier than whatever you're trying to point out um i do think that sammy guevara was in the wrong um if y'all are both professionals and he does something unprofessional, right? You, as a professional, can go to him and be like, hey, dog, that wasn't it. But for you to come out about his weight, that's unprofessional as well. And you should know better considering, like, once again, that you had, you know, sensitivity classes pertaining to another incident that you had. So it's like the, it, it goes both ways, bro. It goes both ways. It could have been handled differently on both sides, right? And and while I'm not an advocate of, you know, swinging on somebody, like, you do something to intentionally, (laughs) you do something to intentionally (laughs) anger somebody else, it's just like, you you should expect, not you should expect, yeah, no, 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 yeah, you should expect that. You deal with someone who's, who is angry, who may be sensitive about their weight or whatever the case may be, and you just making a comment about body shaming, which you know is wrong in 2022, you know is wrong. Like, you're doing all that and you you didn't expect to be swung on? Like, come on, bro. You know yeah, better than... Get hit. Right, right. And especially when it's Eddie <laughs> Kingston. Like, this is Ed, Eddie went to the golden boy of the company and CM Punk and was like, dog, I don't like you. What do you think he's going to do? He's in New York. What do you expect? Right. <laughs> right. Right. Like fully from Yonkers, bro. This man has a damn Yankee fitted tatted on his head. Like essentially <laughs> he's so New York. But like, I just think that what he did was just very immature and, and 
very insensitive and it, it goes to show you why people don't like Sammy in real life because that was just corny. Um I was gonna say, did you have anything else to say about that or or you got it all off? Because I feel like you may have something else. Not this time, but if I come if I come back to it, I'll come back to it because he really pisses me off. Like I just don't like the idea that every time someone's a heel and they say something sensitive in a promo, their biggest fucking safety blanket is oh i'm a heel i'm supposed to make you angry i got you guys the reaction that i wanted like no No, there's just some things you just don't say right day and and age right nah for real and i agree i agree with you know but that was just my biggest thing that just pissed me off because i just i just feel like again he gets blanketed so much that he just doesn't want to take accountability and Mm -hmm. i feel like tony khan needs to put his foot down and i feel like honestly he should have got suspended again like, you didn't learn from the first time from these sensitivity classes? Okay. And my other thing that I want to comment on, actually, too, is what is the issue with wrestlers throwing hands? So long as there's no, like, weapons involved, I don't see why they can't just, you know, tussle a little bit. I mean, they did in the territory days, and they got it out of right. their systems. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's – I think that in this day where everybody's trying to be clean and corporate and ethical – it's like, ah, oh, well, we don't want fighting in our workplace, right? But you have to understand that the wrestling workplace is unique to any other workplace because niggas be fighting for a living. Like, these cats fight for a living. Just and back it, there and everything. <laughs> right. Like, they fight for a living, and, and, and you just have to understand that, like, if you keep prolonging the static, the tension, it's only going to build up, and it's only going to get worse. Just let them duke it out. I agree with you. You should let wrestlers just kind of duke it out, obviously, in private. But I'd rather them fight, get it over with, have their little rounds, and then it's over versus having to like, oh, well, you didn't say this. Oh, well, you didn't say that. And then it just continues to build and fester. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's my thing. All right. But, but moving on. 